Hey, good morning, guys. So this war is going into day four in the Middle East. The casualties continue to rise on both sides. The fighting between the Israels and the uh, Hamas, 1,600 lives have already been lost due to the battles happening in Israel. Now, here in the States, the White House was lit up in blue and white lights, showing solidarity for Israel. And according to the Associated Press, the Israeli military activated 300,000 reservists, and Israel warplanes hit downtown Gaza City in the Palestinian territory, which is home to Hamas centers of government. Now, this comes after Israel's prime minister declared the country was in war. Hamas has already pledged to kill those Israelis who have been captured if the Israeli military targets civilians without warning. We're hearing from those who have loved loved ones still missing after the initial Hamas attacks four days ago at the open air music festival near the Gaza border. News Nation's Rich McHugh interviewed a man who claims to be a leader of Hamas. That man claims that the attacks are a stance against Israel resist until everyone accepts the fact that we are a nation who deserves to have their own rights, including our land, our homes, and our independent sovereign state. Yeah, so far, 11 Americans have been killed in the midst of the war, with many more unaccounted for. We are expecting to hear from President Biden at noon today, giving his thoughts on the conflict. Back to you guys in the studio.